let's try to check what's the status of the crematoriums because uh, during this global pandemic uh, COVID-19 pandemic people who are uh, confirmed uh, dead uh, confirmed uh, dead due to COVID-19 uh, disease are subjected to cremation to avoid the spreading of the COVID-19 virus so in India they have numerous massive crematoriums being uh, uh, developed so they make uh, aside from their usual institutional crematoriums they is, have to establish makeshift crematoriums in order to cater to the numerous big de- uh, shall we say big demand for crematoriums because there are many people who are dead and need to needs to uh, be cremated so let's try to check what is the status of uh, their crematoriums in India right now with those millions of the millions of infected rather and thousands of them. in Delhi the bodies lie in the heat for up to 20 hours and there are more waiting behind these in pub. so in New Delhi that's one of the major cities in, in India you can see there in the picture uh, in the video ra- rather lines long lines of dead bodies being waited outside even they are already uh, placed outside of the crematoriums or shall we say the the building why because in the building or the place of uh, where uh, cremation is being done it's already full so they have to wait even the dead have to wait in lines and they are already exposed to the street outside of the crematoriums and like uh, waiting in line under the heat of the sun such a shame cars driven by grieving relatives the funeral pyres are so busy that families crisscross india's capital look at their crematoriums they have to make uh, some kind of um, makeshift makeshift crematoriums outside just using um, traditional way of cremating uh, using chopped wood and place in just an area outside because the uh, modern uh, crematoriums already filled with lots of be- dead bodies being uh, uh, waiting in line to be cremated so the, the, the demand for crematoriums are increasing each day so they have to make um, new makeshift uh, crematoriums so as you can see they're just like um, burning people the traditional way burning like animals like meat looking for any available space some of them renting fridges to stop their loved ones so you see according to the news um, the relatives are looking for se- uh, for several uh, outlets or several branches of crematoriums across India in order to have their uh, dead relatives being cremated. But due to the fact that there are many deaths, they have to wait in line outside the streets. The dead the dead are being placed outside, waiting in line under the heat of the sun, and for some are really not that lucky the la- the law lo- the line is very long that they have to just wait uh just try to look for and rent for fridge when you say fridge fridge refrigerator or something to preserve the bodies dead bodies of their relatives from rotting so they have to to store them in cold storage just like me crematorium in the city there are at least ambulances available to ferry the dead though they are piled high inside so in other another area in in india uh, they have used the uh, uh, available ambulances as a way to transport their dead people but 
most of their abilities are already filled up because there is many stuck bodies being just uh, lying in there waiting in the ambulance because there are no crematoriums yet available to burn the, the, the dead bodies so the ambulances are filled and then there's no way to transport them to the crematoriums so and the dead the dead uh, people are are coming I mean not sorry it's, it looks like a zombie movie dead people are increasing so many deaths every day every hour so they are lining up so no more uh, their resources in India are already at an emergency level and then another queue for hours before they can be burned these fires are constant perhaps the most damning indictment of the Indian government's handling of this crisis to date.